cup leeches. Something that has been the Xfinity series since the very beginning, with some even winning championships. But what if there were no cup leeches in the Xfinity series? Let's figure that out. By the way, if you guys are wondering, this is in fact a continuation of What If Racing series. And uh, he did 1981 to 1985. And then in this episode, we'll start in the year 1986. Let's get into it. The season would start off at Daytona where Dale Earnhardt got the win. But since he's a cup driver, it won't count. And thus, the win would go to Jack Ingram. Jack Ingram would open up the 1986 season with a win at the season opener at Daytona. The second race of the season would be at Rockingham. And guess who would win? Cup leech Dale Earnhardt. Thus, who would win the race? Well, it'll be Jack Ingram opening up the 1986 season with two straight victories in an NASCAR Bush late model series. I honestly forgot what it was called. I think it was a sportsman series. Anyway, the Bush sportsman series, not a late model series. What the hell am I talking about? Moving on to the third race of the year, which be which would be at the Hickory Motor Speedway. And we have our first race of the season that will not change from the real life winner. And it will be a win by the 14 of Ronnie Silver. Yes, that is his real name. In Martinsville, it will be Cup Leach Morgan Shepard getting the win. Thus, he would get the win to Larry Pearson. Larry Pearson. Pearson. <laughs> Thus giving the win to Larry Pearson. This would be Larry Pearson's first win in 1986, and it would come at Martinsville. The next race of the 1986 Bush Series season would head to Bristol for the running of the Bud 500. Thus winning this race would be Cup Leach Morgan Shepard. The highest non-cup driver in this field would be third place Brad Teague. And that means Brad Teague would score his first win of the season at the Bristol Motor Speedway. The next race would be at Darlington where Daryl Waltrip would get the win. But since he's a cup leech and we're in a perfect world without cup leeches, he will not be able to keep his win. This would give the win once again to Brad Teague as he goes back to back in the 1986 season. The next race would be at South Boston. As you guys can already see, Bush Series regular La or Jack Ingram would be able to get the win. Thus, nothing changes from the South Boston race. In the next race at Langley, it will be Tommy Houston getting his first win of the season. And he's a regular, so he gets to keep his win. In the next race, the world peace would end as the real winner would be a cup leech of Daryl Waltrip. But getting second in that race would be Dale Jarrett. And at the time, he wasn't a full-time cup driver yet. So, Dale Jarrett would get his first win of the 1986 Bush Series season. In real life, it would be Daryl Waltrip actually going back to back. Obviously, this would not cause world peace. But getting second in the race would be... Mr. Jack Ingram. Jack Ingram would once again get the win, getting his, I think, third win of the 1986 Bush Series season. In the next race in Charlotte, it'll be Mr. AIDS, Tim Richmond, getting the win, but he's a cup leech. This would give the win to second place Brett Boudine. Boudine, what the fuck? <laughs> Brett Bodine would get the win. This would be his first win of the season because at this time he was not a full-time cup driver. So he gets a win at Charlotte. In the next race, nothing would change as regular Jack Ingram scored his fourth win of the 1986 season. And at this point, Jack Ingram is looking like a good championship favorite. In the next two races, it would stay the same. No changes. Tommy Houston would get the win. At Hickory Motor Speedway, getting his second win of the year. And Tommy Houston would go back-to-back -back as he would win at Orange County Speedway. Tommy Houston proving himself as a championship favorite. But will the regulars keep on winning? And the answer would be yes. Of the winner being an actual Bush regular, 
it'll be Butch Miller getting a win once again at IRP. And the good stuff would still continue on as Butch Miller actually went back to back by winning the next race in the Bush Series season. And it would continue once again as Jack Ingram would get the win once again, thus continuing his championship favorite run. But like all good things, they have to come to an end, and they came to an end at Road America of all places. And who would win? Daryl Waltrip. Daryl Waltrip would be the real winner. And fourth place, the winner would be Haskell Willingham. Willingham would get his first Bush Series win at Road Atlanta, not Road America. What are you talking about, Dylan? In the next race, it would be Chuck Bound winning his first Bush race of the season. And trust me, I do like that 67 number. That's my number. Jack Ingram would continue his 1986 dominance by winning the next race. Jack Ingram already proving that he is a good championship favorite as he would actually go back to back and win the next race. You guys see a pattern here. Only the real winners so far have been regulars. And I think this is a duplicate. Um, it is. Jack Ingram did not go three in a row, so... Um, just ignore that right there. But LD Ottinger would win the next race. LD would uh, get the win. Not he's a cup, not a cup regular. As at this point, he actually hasn't ran a cup race since 1984. Dale Jarrett would get his third win of the season. Second, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure. But Dale Jarrett gets the win there. But in Bristol, a woman would walk onto the track. Yes, that is real. And the winner would be Mr. Brett Bodine. Bodine would once again get the win. In the next race, the real winner would be Cup Series Leech, Dale Earnhardt. Yes, Dale Earnhardt wins once again. And by the way, he was in a Pontiac. Finishing in third, the highest bush driver would be Brett Bodine. Thus, the winner of this race would be Brett Bodine once again in 1986 he has really improved in the second half of the season it seems like and once again he gets the win in the next race dale earnhardt would go back to back in real life man can he stop winning but in the end it would be a dale winning anyway as dale jarrett would get the win once again so yes a dale would win the race but it'd be Dale Jarrett, not Dale Earnhardt. In the next race, would a regular win the real race? No, it'd be Morgan Shepard. Morgan Shepard once again leeches down to the Bush Series. And once again, he becomes a Bushwhacker win. Finishing in second, though, was Tommy Houston. Thus, the winner would be Tommy Houston. Tommy Houston is another driver who seems to be on somewhat of a winning roll in the second half of the 1986 season. In the next race, the real winner would be Tommy Houston. So nothing changes in the next race. Tommy Houston, can he be an underdog championship favorite? Maybe. Will he go three in a row? That answer would be no, as Larry Pearson would go on to win the next race. Larry Pearson, fun fact, is David Pearson's son. Going on to the next race, the real winner at Charlotte in the All-Pro 300 would be, in fact, the aide of Dale Earnhardt. And the highest finishing regular was Larry Pearson, and Larry Pearson would go back-to-back, -back, and Larry Pearson would get the win at the Charlotte Motor Speedway. In the second to last race, the real winner would be Morgan Shepard. And as you guys saw there in second place, Davey Allison at the time was not in the Cup Series full time. Thus, winning the second to last race of the 1986 season would be Davey Allison. Davey Allison would get one win in the Bush Series before moving up into the Winston Cup Series in 1987. So that means if he wins the real race again... Well, it won't count because he's going up to the Xfinity or Book Cup Series. I mean, he'll be a bushwhacker. And winning the final race of the year will be Mr. Brett Bodine winning at Martinsville in the Winn-Dixie 500 in the final race of the 1986 season. 
Now, who would be your champion? Well, I think it would be someone who you wouldn't really expect. Larry Pearson. Larry Pearson will be the 1986 NASCAR Busch Series Championship. Yes, he is a champion. Got a few wins this year. I can't remember off the top of my head. I probably should have wrote it down or typed it somewhere. But I didn't because, well, I'm too lazy to. But he at least got a few wins, and Larry Pearson upsets the championship for 1986. So, guys, that'll do it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Road to 1,000 subscribers. This is DWR. Peace out.